Welcome back. We all know I recently moved to West Michigan. It has been a great adventure to get everything put together at my house in Muskegon at Montgomery Manor. Leslie is here today to share some of her expertise when it comes to picking the right sofa because mm -hmm. people make a lot of big mistakes. It's an investment piece. So I you know. want to make sure and do it right. So what is the main, what is the biggest mistake people make? I think the biggest mistake is that they go shopping when they're tired. Oh. Friday at six o'clock after probably, a long, because yep. mm -mm, you know it feels good then. Anything. Con concrete bench. Right. Anything. Anything. Yeah. Anything. So you have to be properly rested in order to go test it out. Okay. Because user right. testing is very important. It's it's like a bed almost, right? Exactly. Yes. Wow. And another mistake that people make is that they don't measure. Oh, yeah. Super important, especially if you yeah. are upsizing and you're getting something that's a little bit bigger than what you have in there. Yeah. It will break your heart if you try to watch the delivery guys come through the door and they're like, huh, no, nope, it's it not going to fit. It just won't fit. Yeah. Well, you brought some examples of some really cool fabric and different kind of uh, cushions Core here, right? cushions as well, exactly. And my friends at Pilgrim House of Okemos, uh let me bring the samples today. Oh, okay. It's fabulous working with them. There's a particular line that I take a lot of my clients to, and that's the Bassett line, the HGTV oh. home. Oh, okay. Because it's kind of like going to Qdoba. Oh. You know how you can put all the right, ingredients right. that you want in your burrito? You can build a sofa the entire, that, like that build same a bear. way. It's it like is build like a build bear. a bear. So lots of special <laughs> things from it. <laughs> so what's important, the very first thing, fit and function. You okay. need to make sure that that sofa is going to fit you properly. Right. And that little brochure takes you through the most important parts. And the first one is that the seat depth is correct because there are two different oh, kinds of seat yeah, depths. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. One is 22 inches and one is 25 inches. Now, do you remember Lily Tomlin when she was on Laugh-In? Yes. She did Edith. Yes. Yes, and she would sit on the little rocking chair and her, her the big rocking chair. Yes, if and I that's recall. the truth. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> I love that. But I use that as I, an example. I remember. Yes. Yes, um, because short people uh, do not do well with the super big seat depth because yes. our little legs do that. Mm -hmm. So having that fit is important. Okay. And then also the the seat core. So there are three different styles here, depending on. Um, how uh, how strong you are, right. or if you have mobility issues or things like or that. Or how, how strong your core is. Exactly, right? <laughs> yes. Core to core ratio yes. is very important. So this puppy, if you want to just touch it, so charm oh, in that puppy, right? Yeah. And that's this, just the standard one. It's just foam all the way through. Okay. And the second gotcha. one is slightly more luxurious because it has down on the top and the bottom. Oh, look at that. Yes, yes. Takes a little you bit more core see. strength to get up. See yes. the down here on top? Mm -hmm. okay. gotcha. But that's nice and squishy. And then the third one here, yeah. tell you how to swap this out. Okay. This one has a spring core oh. plus the down. Oh. So it's nice and firm and yet oh, yeah. luxurious See that right at the there. same time. Okay. So that's handy. So this is the fancy one. This yes, is, that this is, is the fancy, fancy. one. Okay. And it will wear extremely well. Now, fabrics are important too. So once you get the fit and mm -hmm. all of those particular styles, having the right fabrics and making that selection will mean the difference between having a piece that lasts a long time gotcha. or not. So this one, for example, see how it's a really interesting texture on that? Yeah, so you this can is feel nice. that. But imagine if you had something sharp sticking out of your back pocket, what would happen? Yeah, it would go right through it, wouldn't it? It would snag one of the long yeah. loopies there. Yes, yep. so not quite as good. Um, this is a, a pretty color, and I don't want people to shy away from the idea of from using color, color right. on your sofas as well, because you can tone it down with a neutral pillow. This one happens to be a cotton. Cotton is not quite as durable right. as the polyester would be, but that one's very pretty, and then you can put it with another pop of texture or something like oh, that. This, this feels much denser. It is. Is that the right word? <laughs> <laughs> it's far more durable. Durable. Yes, okay. exactly. Exactly. We only have about a minute left. Okay. So I want to. I love this. I love these colors. I tend to go towards the blues. These you know that colors are lovely. They are. Um, and this one is a is a great texture. I love that. And if you see this little guy, so he's a fun texture as well. Now imagine Joey oh, yeah. on this. I know, right? My cocker yes. spaniel. <laughs> but what's important is that you take these fabrics home and test them out. So if you have kids, if you have pets, and you can, can do that, right? Joey you can take. Yes. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Take the samples and sort of user test them because Joey might leave some fur on them. Yeah, yeah, he probably would. But boy, he'd be comfortable. <laughs> well, I'd be comfortable on this. As always, great advice. Thank, Thank you, my you. dear. And we've got all this information on our website, 13onyourside.com. We'll be right back.